Many entrepreneurs find fulfilling lives and successful independent careers without becoming multimillionaires. The success stories in the text show the great entrepreneurial opportunities available in this country. They suggest that we may go as far as our desires, abilities, preparation, and divine providence permit. Entrepreneur is a French term that dates back to the early 18th century. It refers to a person who founds or starts a business firm. The term also includes partnerships and entrepreneurial teams. In the text, the definition is extended to include owner-managers who operate firms that were started by others. The characteristics of risk-taking and innovation are associated with the image of the entrepreneur. So who are entrepreneurs? There are founders, or pure entrepreneurs, typically among the bigger risk-takers, often the most creative. Then there's second-generation operators of family-owned businesses. They're carrying on the family tradition. There are franchises which are restricted in freedom, but they have invested money and time. Then there are owner-managers who have bought out founders, new to the business, but not too far removed from the essence of its founding. Entrepreneurs exclude salaried managers of large corporations, even those who lean towards innovation. Small businesses produce 14 times as many patents per employee than do large companies and are twice as likely to turn them into market successes. They account for half of the private gross domestic product and create more than 60% of net new jobs every year. And they also pay 44% of private payrolls. So what is a small business? Despite numerous efforts to define small business, there is no generally accepted definition. But there are four typical characteristics. Generally, financing is supplied by one person or a few people. Other than marketing, operations are geographically localized. Also, the business is small when compared to bigger competitors, and they have fewer than 100 employees. There are a lot of incentives for people to try their hand as an entrepreneur. Profit is a strong motivator, but it's a mistake to assume that it is the only motivator. Most entrepreneurs are satisfied with what they consider to be a reasonable profit. A lot of entrepreneurs also like the independence. They want to be their own boss. 38% of small business owners left the corporate world so they could call their own shots. While most entrepreneurs aren't in it for the money, they have a fantastic track record of making a lot of it. Three-quarters of the Forbes 400 richest Americans are first-generation business owners. So while it's possible to get rich working for someone else, you're four times more likely to become a millionaire if you're self-employed. Many entrepreneurs are seeking freedom from a bad situation, and they enter business ownership as a result of financial hardship. Reluctant entrepreneurs are those who become small business owners as a result of some kind of downturn in their financial situation. A refugee is a person who becomes an entrepreneur to escape an undesirable situation. There are many different varieties of entrepreneurship. Founders start firms based on inventions, specialized skills, or new marketing approaches. Administrative entrepreneurs oversee successful ongoing operations. The differences between founders and administrative entrepreneurs are sometimes hazy. Franchisees are less independent than administrative entrepreneurs because they have a contractual relationship with a franchising organization. The entrepreneurial team. Individual entrepreneurs frequently have weak spots in education or experience. An entrepreneurial team makes it possible to cover such weaknesses by using individuals with varied talents and backgrounds. Let's look at high potential ventures versus attractive small firms and micro businesses. High potential ventures, sometimes called gazelles, are fast growing enterprises or those that create significant opportunities. Attractive small firms op offer substantial financial rewards. Micro businesses are small firms that provide minimal profits to its owner. A lifestyle business is a micro business that allows the owner to have a certain style of living. 